Yeah, you know, um, when we asked the question, are you ready? Uh, not yet. Uh, we still have uh, a week's worth of practice. Camp is definitely over. Feel really good about um, how we came out of camp. Um, you know, you don't want to lose anybody to injury. I think overall we're pretty healthy, but, uh, um, you know, anybody who gets, who gets dinged up, you don't want that to happen. Um, still have some, uh, some time to, to get guys healthy this week. Um, so it was a good camp. feel really good about that. Uh, but we need, you know, our game week preparation. Um, there will be a different uh, focus, I think, a, a heightened sense of, of urgency to some degree. Uh, we did a really good job in camp of staying focused and staying on task and the one and zero mentality. Um, but there's something about, you know, when you know your opponent, who your opponent is, and, and all the preparation now is, is geared towards that. So we're excited about the week. How difficult has it been, uh, given the fact that Mississippi Valley State, it, it's kind of hard to get a lot of information on, but them to get, really game plan for them? Yeah, I mean, the first game, you know, every year, you spend eight months collecting information knowing that you can't uh, wholeheartedly trust any of it. Um, but that's that's true for everybody, you know. So, um, you know, we've never played them before, uh, but we've done as much research as we can um, to to prepare for their offense and their defense and their their special teams units. Um, but part of the preparation in week one, and really every week, but more so in week one, is for the guys to know this is what we think or what we expect. However, but <laughs> and you know you have to be ready for the unexpected. Um, first question for you. You mentioned this morning Todd Ford is your starting quarterback. Um, does that make more pressure for Shaq Man and the rest of the run game, or do you have confidence in Ford's ability to lead the offense? Oh, we, we have confidence uh, for sure. Um, yeah, pressure. I, I don't I don't know that the guys feel pressure at all. I mean, it's more of an excitement to get to get to playing again. Um, you know, regardless of who our starting quarterback is, you know. Um, our veteran offensive line is something that we're going to be relying on both in the run and the pass game. Um, and, uh, you know, we think that that's going to be definitely, you know, a, a bright spot on our football team. Sure. Uh, speaking of Shaq, man, you know, where have you seen him grow in the last, um, since the offseason? Yeah, so his freshman year, you know, he, he uh, got dinged up uh, like the first day of pads. I don't know if you all remember that, but – um, you know, had a pretty good sense that we might be redshirting him anyway, and obviously redshirted that first year. And then, you know, there was no surprise to us whatsoever about how productive he was and how good he was this last year. I think, you know, to answer your question, um, I mean, he's a captain. You know, going into his, his redshirt sophomore year, his junior year. Um, and so I think that that talks about the respect that, that folks have for him and, and – uh, you know, as a leader, as a person, and then respect for his game as well. You talked a couple times, you know, at Media Day and other times about switching up the defense this year. Um, where's the defense, you know, as far as getting ready for Mississippi Valley State? Yeah, so we had 15 and I think 23, uh, 23 or 24 so far, you know, with camp. And um, by the end, I think we'll have 44 practices. And, and in some ways that – that sounds like, hey, that's a that's a fair amount, you know, when you spread it out from from spring through camp, and and then uh, in other ways, you know, that's without a single game. Um, you know, the spring game, we try to manufacture that as much as we can. Um, it uh, even though it's new, it doesn't feel new uh, anymore, which I think is a really good sign. Um, I think our guys are are both comfortable and excited. Um, you know, and that's that's why you play. You know, Friday night, you know, we'll get to see it for the first time and 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 see just how excited and how comfortable they are. And how's the uh, locker room reacting right now to the changes in quarterback this week? Uh, they've known about it. Uh, yeah. So there's, um, you know, in, internally, um, you know, that has not been something that's been a a shockwave to us during camp. Um, something I saw the last couple of days on uh, your offensive line, guy that's not gonna be on the team. Um, where's the offensive line uh, going in this year? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean that's it's a it's a real strength for us. Um, they're playing well, uh, you know. From last year, we have all of those folks back. Um, you know, the the Jeremy Hickeys and the Cajun Armstrongs and whatnot 
who filled in some towards the end of last season have yet another year underneath their belt. Um, and then, you know, we've actually, through recruiting, have a couple spots that are, that are going to be making an impact for us uh, this year, um, one, one being a true freshman and the one a junior college transfer. So depth-wise and quality depth in, in the three years, this is by far and away a, you know, the, a group that we feel really good about in terms of the depth. Um, you mean just on our football team? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. You know, I think that there's, I think that there's more than one for folks that haven't seen us, you know, since last fall. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll let them, uh, you know, determine who that who that is for them. But I think that there's going to be a number of people in a number of spots that, you know, you come out of the game on Friday, you say, wow, you know, that guy is, uh, that guy's a difference maker or. Uh, you know, he, he's really improved or, you know, we haven't seen that guy before. Um, I, I certainly think that'll be the case. Sure. And defensively, you know, what's the biggest growth? You know, is there anything improvement-wise in the secondary or in the, in the middle of the uh, defense? Where's, where's the growth going on there? Well, you know, just going all the way back to, to last season in terms of trying to compare the, the growth, and, and that is, uh, you know, our health. Um, you know, you're never perfectly healthy, but when you lose your lone captain, for every snap of the year, um, you know, on a on on an off or on a defensive line that just didn't have much depth anyway, and then you lose your other starting defensive end for ten and a half games. Um, you know, we battled and gave it all that we could, but yeah, that was um, that was tough for us to overcome. I mean, obviously, we weren't able to overcome that. And so without the recruiting, you know, without the maturation of a, a redshirted class becoming, you know, a redshirt freshman class and whatnot, you put both of those guys, um, you know, back in the lineup and, and that, uh, that changes things in a hurry. Um, so, we, you know, we're – Chris Hendricks has moved over from, from the offensive line to the defensive line. Um, Mike here, you know, is going to have some uh, compadres on the interior – line we've got uh, again through just maturation in our program and through recruiting and and so um you know i, I just think that we're going to have you know more quality depth and i think that's going to make a, a real big difference can you uh, speak on that we talked about the return of pat o'connor coming back from injury missing all of last season what kind of role will he play in that you know fitting in there coming in as a captain also this season yeah well you know there was uh, i think a, a lot of excitement and a lot of hype about um, how productive he was, you know, coming off of the 14 season, going into going into the 15 season, um, and the way that I look at it, and I think the way that that he really honestly looks at it as well, is that he now has you know two years to get into one year. Um, he's in incredible shape, you know. He's completely healthy. He's strong, and you know, you've held a guy like that out for a season, and so if it's possible to be you know, more hungry, um, he's that, you know, we're, uh, he's not going to be alone now, but uh, we're excited about uh, him being out on the field, uh, no question. Senior Mike Brown's here, well, he's the captain in his first in his senior year, we'll let Mike speak to the fact of you're now a captain, you, you have the role of really being the second most experienced player on, on the defensive line. It played last year. You had 11 tackles against Army. Your role has only continued to grow. How do you see this year for you? Um, this is a this is a huge year for me, the defense, and the Eagles. You know, um, I feel like we had a really good camp. We have a lot of quality depth, which there wasn't really like a lull of camp. There wasn't really like the grind of camp. We came in there day in and day out, trying to win the day, and with that depth, it, it helped create competition. So. I feel like that's that's how we're growing the most because we have competition. You guys, you, people are coming in day in and day out because they know their position may get taken that day. You know, so th I mean that's a huge thing for us is just having competition, competition and quality depth. That's well, the biggest thing for this year. It's something that we talked about when we also talked on the field a few weeks ago. It's also nice now. You're not going to have to play all 100 of those snaps. Yeah. Right? So I mean, w right now we've got. I would say about eight, got eight, nine guys ready to go on the defensive line, which is really good. I mean, we have different personnel packages on the defensive line and, and different guys ready to go at different times. So it's really good.
Coach has mentioned the maturity of a lot of, during camp. How have you matured in your four years here at the NBA? Yeah, you know, uh, bringing the younger guys to where the older guys are at. We have, I think it's 20-something seniors now. So um, just demanding a lot from the younger guys and bringing them up to where, to where we're at um, has, is, is pretty much where me and Pat have, have, have kind of prided ourselves in as captains, just bringing the younger guys up to where we're at. My last question before I let these guys ask you some is, your, your major, of course, compute is, uh, is school's a large part of this. How do you as a person balance school and the, the athlete side of things? Um, just for me, the best, the best part about balancing it or the easy part isn't so easy. It's just creating a schedule, you know? We have a lot going on during the day. We have lifts, we have uh, meals, we have practice, we have treatments. So for me, it's just creating a schedule and having all my times in that schedule. That's the way I balance it. And um, school never came easy to me, so I, I got to have a, a lot of time studying after practice. So I just create a schedule and, ha and I stick to that schedule. That's been the way I did it. Perfect. You were from Sandusky, so you probably weren't sneaking the Cedar Point too much during <laughs> No. <laughs> Mike, Mike, speak on you know, having Pat back to, you know, on that defensive line with you. you know, you're a captain, he's a captain. You know, what's that feel like to have him joining you back on the defensive line going into Friday night's game? Yeah, so in 2014, we were he was my like right hand man, and we lost him last year. And um, to have him back, he, he wasn't there for a spring ball, but he he never really left. He was always there vocally, but it's good. He brings that spark to the defense. That 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 kind of he brings that extra edge to the defense, and it it'd be really great to have him back. Sure, Mike. You know what's just the, the mood of the guys right now on defense? You know, they've gone through a lot of changes, change up scheme, new coordinator this year. Yeah. Where are you guys as far as your mood? Our mood, um, I feel like we've created a culture on defense and on the team as well as we're workers. You know, we come in every day, put our hats on, lace up our shoes to go to work, and we're there every day to, to win, the, win the practice and the, to win the game at the end of the week that we're preparing for. So I feel like our mood of the team is workers. That's what we are. Guys, any other questions? What's the overall feel? I mean, speaking on that, with the whole lot from going into Friday night's game, it's a shorter practice week in the sense, and you're kind of rolling camp into practice week. Is, is, are you guys excited? Are you looking forward to it really much? You know, getting off that bus and throwing on those nice new jerseys. And yeah. So, yep. So, we've been hitting each other for the last 25 days. It's going to be nice to you know hit somebody else and have a have a football game on Friday. Um, we have a lot of seniors, like I said, and we've been kind of setting the tempo of practice and. Everything's been going smooth, and we're we're ready for Friday, and uh, uh, we're expecting the best out of Mississippi Valley State, and we're ready to roll. Thank you guys for your time. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good job, Mike.